I have the pleasure of being here with Pablo Morales, the head coach of the University of Nebraska Women's Swimming. You've been the coach there now for 12 years. Long time, your whole family's been there for a while. Yeah, absolutely, we've made Nebraska our home. And it's good living, Midwest. You know, nice, hardworking, decent people. And we get great support from the university and the community. But it's been really fun. Obviously, you and I have known each other since uh, my, since I was a teenager, and you're you know late teens. And uh, you obviously had a, obviously a great swimming career. And I would just love if you would tell a story, because I'm sure people would love to hear the story. My husband Ross Gary likes to tell me about how obviously in '88 you didn't make the team, but you're you know really a world record holder from 1986, which we have on tape by the way. And so it's a coffee if you don't have it. But anyhow, um, you actually went to law school, came back, weren't in shape, but you got in shape and got ready for '90 and then won gold. What was that like? Oh, it was a, it was a great experience uh, to be away from the sport for a few years. It gave me a real appreciation of why I loved it. When I came back, the thing that I remember most is being so happy to be back in the water, swimming again, even though I was really out of shape. To see that improvement, that physical development each and every day and having the opportunity to, to train with a great group of guys and that, that pushed me every day was, was a lot of fun and really uh, kind of hit home why why I love to swim and I think that made all the difference in the world coming back and had a great appreciation for what I was doing and certainly wanted to to achieve the goal of, of winning the gold medal but the process was so was so rewarding to me that even if I didn't accomplish the goal I was I was happy that I that I that I made the comeback and I want that 1986 tape by the way oh yeah I'll get that for you and then here's the other question one thing I, he told me about is that you actually spend about 40 minutes after every practice yeah. stretching yeah and so I imagine you had some other little specific things that you did you get yourself ready what, yeah. what are some of the other some other things that uh, aspiring nah, nah, let me start over there sure what are some other tips that you would like to pass on to aspiring athletes out there who want to have a commitment but may not know what to do? Yeah, well the first thing you have to have is, is a passion and real love for what you're doing. And I, and I think for me coming back, that was the, the, the one obstacle that, I, that I, I wanted to overcome. I didn't really know whether the comeback was something I truly wanted to do. But after getting after it for a little bit, I knew it was right. And once you have the passion, then everything seems to fall into place, and I really left no, really left nothing to chance in terms of my preparation, and, and I learned from my failures how to prepare better. And uh, as you mentioned, I, you know, I spent a, a little time each day focusing on on details, uh, from a stretching routine uh, to after practice, spending a few minutes each day working on my finishes, just little subtle details that made all the difference in the world in the end. So stay focused on on the details as much as possible and really have a passion for what you're doing. Well, you've obviously carried that same passion and care into your team at University of Nebraska. Can you tell us a little bit about Nebraska swimming and what the team's like and what are your favorite parts of your day? Well, absolutely. Being part of the University of Nebraska is a, is a wonderful experience. Being from California, moving to Nebraska was, was thinking a little bit outside the box, but it felt so it's, uh, comfortable there and it's been extremely comfortable for, for me, my wife, and, and my four boys. And we're, quite happy there and we get great support. Um, it's a wonderful community, great place to raise a family. We've been quite comfortable there and, and Nebraskans are just just kind of you know, salt of the earth people and, and it's been a, a, a wonderful experience for us. Right. Now, now uh, do you get a lot of snow out there like we have been getting here in Minnesota? Uh, we get, get a little bit of cold every once in a while but not as much snow as they get here in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us about your boys. What do they like to do for fun? Well, we, we get involved in a lot of activities. So they're in martial arts actually in Taekwondo uh -huh. which they've been doing Beautiful. for many years. Uh -huh. and a little bit of swimming on the side. Yeah. Not full timers but you know, they're, you know we want them to develop a, an appreciation and enjoy Enjoyment for swimming and see where it goes from there. Right. And uh, you know they're they're involved in, in, in band and orchestra and and uh, so all Holy living uh, life. Yeah, you know all that stuff just kind of keeps them occupied. Now I know your your relay just got fifth place in the four x fifty freestyle yeah. relay. And I know that was a big successful race for your team. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your team, uh, the swimmers on the team, and how yeah. they're doing here. Well, it's it's been a really exciting experience for us. Last year was our first year in the Big Ten and. And I think for the most part, we were maybe 
uh, you know, kind of stepped into a, an amazing situation, the Big Ten Conference, how, how deep it is and how competitive it is. And, and I think there were some, we had some growing pains last year and to come back to, and, you know, first it's still early in the competition, but to have the start that we've had has been very rewarding to see, you know, our sprint relay step up and, and get there on, up, up on the podium and, and, and move on up to a higher level has been very rewarding. We hope to keep that momentum going uh, for the remainder of the meet. Well, great, Pablo. Great to see you, and uh, good luck to your team. Thank you very much, Jim.